Happy holidays everyone. Today I want to teach you how to turn your star trail time lapse from this into this. So you stayed up all night and took pictures of the stars then upload them to your computer like I've done here in this folder. Now we want to bring all those star trail images into Lightroom or a similar photo editing program. In Lightroom, go to File Import or simply drag all your images into a library module. Once they're done importing, the next thing you want to do is select all your photos so you can edit them simultaneously in the develop module. To speed this tutorial up, I already edit my photos. I did some basic white balance adjustments and raised the sharpness. Other than that, not too much. And since we're planning on turning these pictures into a video, we want to crop them at a 16 by 9 ratio for 1080p or 4K video. Choose the crop tool and select 16 by 9. If you don't see that option, then select custom and simply type in 16 by 9. Now slide the crop tool into position that works well with your sky and foreground. When you're satisfied with the way your photos are looking, you want to export them all as JPEGs. I'm going to show you how to create a custom preset to save these settings for future Star Trail videos. Under user presets, click add, then type in a preset name like Star Trails then hit create. First we want to choose an export destination, so let's pick our desktop. Now we don't want hundreds of photos scattered on our desktop, so select and create a subfolder. I'm going to name mine Star Trails. Then go down to file naming, which is extremely important. If the numerical sequence is not set up correctly, this will not work right when we go to stack the star trails. Click the file naming drop down box and choose edit. For your naming setup, we want to choose custom text and image number in the thousands, since you may photograph hundreds to thousands of images in a star trail sequence. And then choose done. Now under file naming, you could type in your custom name like Star Trails and 0001 should follow that name as seen here. Make sure you're exporting as a JPEG at 100% quality. Then for image size, choose 16 wide by 9 high at 300 or 400 ppi. This will be good for 4K and HD video. Then before we choose export, right click over Star Trail user preset and choose update with current settings. This will save all the changes we made under that user preset. You can make sure it works by clicking on other presets and then clicking back on your Star Trail preset to see the settings changed. Now choose export and it'll make a folder on your desktop with the crop Star Trail images. Next we're going to use a free program called Star Stacks. If you don't have it, Go to their website and then download it. They also have tutorials on there which will explain the capabilities of that program. When your photos are done exporting, just check them and make sure everything is there. They look good, so now we want to open up the StarStacks program and then drag and drop your images into it. There's a box we want to check off that will create the Star Trail images for our video called Save After Each Step. With that box checked, it's saving each image as it's being processed by the StarStacks program. We need a folder to put these images in, so create a folder on your desktop called Star Trail Time Lapse. Now go to the Output folder and click Browse. Find the new folder you created called Star Trail Time Lapse on your desktop and hit Open. Our new Star Trail pictures will save to this folder now. Click the process button, and this may take 15 minutes or longer depending how many images you have. I'm going to speed up the video just to save some time. When it's done processing, you can save out your final image if you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just focused on the images that StarStacks created for us in that folder. So I'm just going to close the program for now. All right, so we have our images ready and we need a program to turn them into a video. There are several programs that could do this and one of my favorites is LR Timelapse. 
It does have a free version which allows you to use up to 400 photos and export them in 720 or 1080p video. You could also upgrade for a fee if you want to export in 4K. So you could try this out for free or find another software that you might like better. So let's open up our folder of star trails and make sure it works correctly. Here's my first image and here's my last image and everything looks right. So let's go ahead and open up Lightroom again. Go to library and drag your new photos into the Lightroom or just choose file import. You can make more adjustments to the photos if you like, but if you're satisfied, all we have to do now is just export them. Find your LR time-lapse presets and choose the video quality setting you would like to use. Then choose export. Again, I'm going to speed up the video um, during the exporting process. When it finishes in Lightroom, LR time-lapse should open up automatically. Now we just need to render the video, which happens pretty quickly. Just take note, your video options may look different than mine depending on the version of LR time-lapse you have. When it's done rendering, we'll finally have our new Star Trail time-lapse video like this. There's another option you could try in Star Stacks called Comet Mode with long trails like this video here. It's another great option that I like to use. So experiment and play around. Um, hopefully you guys learned something. Give it a try. Please like and subscribe.